this is Kathy. I'm here again showing you something else I've been up to. Making something beautiful again. Well, here's what I made today. These whimsical flowers. Aren't those just the cutest things? And they're made out of a noodle booster. I never knew I needed a noodle booster. Did you? Well, depending on how you think, think you want these flowers, you can get three, six, maybe possibly even seven flowers out of each booster. Now that's pretty good considering it just cost you a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Here I am, I'm measuring every other um, one of these flower petals and I'm going to put a dot on every other one and that keeps me straight when I go to cut them. You, I cut mine with an electric knife. That's really a neat thing to use. Okay, and then here we have some really, really, really cute little embellishments, little things that you make, and you just need some um, colored glue to do this. I used Crayola's colored glue, and they turned out really nice, and it's really easy to do. There you go. That's what it looks like. I used the pink one, and you just shake it up real good and squeeze and there you go and then i used a little bit of paint too i used some gold paint and i used some brown paint this is showing you here some petals i made i decided this at the last minute i took some little pieces of a thin a slice of the of the booster and um, i did about six of the little petals six or seven just depending and um, just just put them in a round circle, put a dab of hot glue on each end, and then I tied them with a pipe cleaner so they would stay because they had to completely dry before you could let them loose. But they made such cute petals. I was just thrilled to death with them when I was finished. And here's one of the finished flowers. Isn't that cute? I put mine on sticks that I just found outside in the yard and the leaves, they're just as wavy as can be. I love those leaves. They just make the whole thing look really special because every leaf is, is a different shape and it's folded differently because of what I made it out of. Now the centers are made out of a, a styrofoam ball and it's cut in the center and then I, I painted it gold and then I put some brown polka dots on it. But I put lots of leaves on the tree. You can get lots of leaves out of one board. So as you see here, as I'm backing up, there I've got three flowers on it so far. So I eventually add a few more flowers, which you're going to see in just a minute. And I've got the little, um, the little planter with rock in it. Okay, here, here's how I painted these things. They, this is just a half of one laying here. And I just squirted the paint right on the, it looks like a round button, doesn't it? But it's, it's a piece of styrofoam. There you see three of them. And then after I do that, I take the other end of my brush and I make dots in it. I've kind of got my camera off a little bit so you can't exactly see the dots. But I, I found out that if you push your paintbrush down into the styrofoam a little bit, uh, the dots actually uh, look better. So make a little little bit of a hole, an indention, I guess, um, in the styrofoam with the brown paint on it. And then you'll have a really good little dots all over these balls. They're just really, really cute. And they make, make these flowers just absolutely pop. I think these flowers would be great outside. Uh, since they're pool noodles, they can get wet. And wouldn't they be cute to have several of them on one side of a swimming pool or something? I just, I just think they would be really, really cute. And they're easy to do. And unless somebody just falls in them, they're not going to break. So <laughs> I hope you have a good luck with yours. You could put them if you wanted to. You could use uh, leftover wires, the thick wire that you might have from some of your projects for the uh, stems, or 
you could use um, some of the heavier ske skewers, excuse me, I can't talk, skewers that they have out now. They have really long ones. You could use that rather than uh, just sticks. But I liked the, the way the sticks were just going every different direction. They weren't all going the same direction. Just very whimsical and um, cute. So this is, like I said, um, how I did the dots. You see here again, I'm still working on these dots. And um, it takes a while for styrofoam to dry. Um, so I put mine in front of a fan and it still took over a, over an hour, well over an hour to dry. So you just kind of have to be patient and wait on it because you don't want to be smudging it when you, um, when you go to pick it up to put it on the, the little wooden things that you're going to use. Now here you see I'm putting the paint on the little blossoms that I made. And um, I just actually just ran some straight lines on the inside just to give it a little bit of color in there. And um, I just put one on each petal. And then I set it down in front of the fan because guess what? Even though they were little, they took an hour to dry too because, I mean, the app, it's the same glue, so it just takes a long time. And you're putting it on kind of thick too so that's that's another uh point to make and then i'm back to the bolster again and i've got that uh-huh that i don't use this for food this i got this um knife at the goodwill and it's strictly for crafts but boy is it handy it makes cutting out some stuff really really quick and easy so then i i burnt one of them up already and when i did i went immediately back another one so check the if you don't have an old one that you want to get rid of check the goodwill out and see what they have because you're sure to find one there Power. okay <laughs> showing you how powerful i am there with the, with my uh, electric knife okay so here we go with be sure and shake your glue really good when you're getting ready to use it get any bubbles out or anything because bubbles means it'll blow all over the whole thing so um you're just going to literally make your designs uh, there's so many different kinds of designs you can make wavy lines you can make polka dots you can make zigzags just about anything that you're good at just go on and put on these flowers um, you don't want to go too close to the center circle because um, the my little um, styrofoam ball was just a little bit bigger than the circle. So the first ones, I actually kind of put a ring around them with the, the glue. But then the, the ball just covered it up. So it really didn't do me any good. I just kind of wasted my time and my glue. So um, anyway, just uh, decorate more the outside edges and the center. And this one I'm doing... Uh, kind of like solid, solid little, um, they're not dots, but they're kind of an oblong dot, I guess. Um, but just different things. I did everything under the sun on mine, and I liked them all different. I Just because they're in the same pot don't mean they have to be the same. This is, after all, a whimsical flower arrangement this is not anything else so it's just adorable now here is what i used this is a kickboard a noodle kickboard and it's wavy see how wavy this is this is what i used for the leaves and i just start in one corner where there's a point and i use that point for the end of my first leaf and then I just put the leaves as close together as I can. They, if you want them all the exact same size, you can definitely make you a pattern and trace it. But I figure if you go outside and you look at the trees, all the leaves aren't the exact same size. They're all kind of a little bit different shaped and a little different um, length and how long they are, how, how wide they are. They're all just a little different. So you know, make it accordingly to what 
where you're going to put it on your arrangement. <laughs> and then here comes my trusty knife again, pulling it out, and I'm ready to go, I'll tell you. It rips through this thing really fast. And just be careful. Be so careful of your fingers and anything else that might be close to that knife because you don't want to get, get um, anything caught in it because it really moves fast. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel safer with a kitchen gadget than I do a, a regular power tool. <laughs> but anyway, they can still hurt you regardless. It doesn't matter if it is a kitchen, a kitchen knife. Um, but I think you'll enjoy doing it if you've never tried a kitchen knife like this before. I think you will really, really like it. I know um, I've done this for years in um, Bible school projects and anything I, I cut out, really. It, it's a, a good way to cut, cut this uh, foam, and it's also a good way to cut... Um, uh, like cardboard and uh, styrofoam, things like that. It's it's really a good thing to try. Just got to keep it moving. That's the only thing because if it gets stuck in one place, you might burn it out. So just, just remember that. Okay, so here I've got a bunch of leaves already cut out. Look how quick that was. I mean, it doesn't take any time to, to cut these things out. And then if you do get a little bitty piece that you want off there, just take your scissors and flip it off. Um, this stuff cuts so amazingly easy. It's, it's just crazy. Easy, easy to work with. So, um, getting rid of all my little pieces of odds and ends there. And I still have two more leaves, it looks like, to cut out. And... Um, and I still, do you notice how much room I still had on that board? I could still probably make another four or five leaves easily. And um, I just might because I'll probably make another one of these because it was so cute and it's very easy. This is such an easy project. This would be a really cute project for uh, uh, possibly your kids to help help you with and give it to their grandmother or their if if it's dad that's helping, give it to their mom for Mother's Day. It would be so cute sitting outside the door. Even if you don't have a pool, set it by your back door or your front door. It's just a cute little welcoming thing. You put a little sign in it. Um, just, you can, the sky's the limit, what you could do. Add little butterflies on it would be awfully cute too. And um, just go to town with it. Let them get creative with it. And so after I did... Um, the, all the cutting I was going to do. I'm going to show you all I used was um, a Sharpie marker and I like to use Sharpies because I know that they are waterproof and they're not going to smear. So I just, if you take the side of your marker and don't just go on the tip, but if you take the side of it, it'll kind of um, make kind of a brushed like a paint line and then I just go right down the center and make a little wavy leaf, uh, leaf line down the center. And um, it just makes it look really, really cute. They, they are as whimsical as the flowers are. They're just adorable. So um, have fun with these too. And you can decide which side. There's not a right side or a wrong side. You could use either side um, for the, the top of your leaf. Okay, and then um, after that, you may want to um, put them on. Now, on a real tree, it has all those little, little bitty um, places where little limbs have broke off or, or maybe a new little limb has tried to grow or something. And that's where I put these leaves, was on things like that. Um, if you're going to use... Um, uh, the little uh, tiny dough rod or the the uh, the big I can't sh shish kebab stick is what I was trying to think of. If you're going to use one of those, you're going to have to probably glue your leaf directly on onto the the base there. Uh, you could put a, a a small stick in the leaf itself. 
and then glue that stitch to another stitch to give you a little bit of, of um, room to move them around and make them make them where they look a little bit each one looks a little bit different on the flower stock uh, because you don't want them all just just exactly alike and um, there I cut out the very last leaf I guess I I guess I got rambunctious and thought well I'm gonna make one more leaf so that's what I did here and um, just about got all of them done so we're going to put these together and how I did that was I take anything I can punch a little hole with um, I even I used an ink pen I've used a little knife just whatever and I poke it in this the part that will go on the stick okay just make a tiny hole put a little dab of hot glue right where that hole is and then you just insert it insert it on the stick and that makes it um, makes it really really hold down on that stick once that glue dries and you just put it in very gently very carefully because you don't want it to go up and pierce the top of it now here I'm um, putting some hot glue and it will it will kind of melt this just a little bit so be careful because it, it gets super hot and hold it down just for a minute or two to um, make sure that it's adhered and you'll see in a minute I think that my first one popped off because I was messing around with it too much and um, I had to re-glue it a little bit but those things those things happen and here I am I'm putting and with the knife I'm putting a little hole right in there and I will put a little bit of glue you got to watch where you're putting it because that hole will disappear as quick as you put it in something and um, Here's one of my sticks, and I just press it down on it. It's just easy, easy, easy. I mean, this is such an easy craft. Um, it's it's so cute, and it's so big. It's impressive, but yet it's so easy. That's what's wonderful about it. It's just easy to make something beautiful. Oh, see, there it goes. I told you it was going to come off. <laughs> so I put some more glue on it and um, press it down, and I tried not to pick it up and just um i was kind of waving it around there i try not to pick up and do that this time because it needs a little bit more time it takes styrofoam and this this uh type of foam a good while to dry the glue does doesn't dry instantly like it does on paper or something so give it plenty of time before you go check it or try to make it stand up or anything and then i do the very same thing i'm using looks like i'm using the um the knife again and just kind of make a little hole in it and I'm gonna fill it again with some hot not really fill it but just a, a dot of it because when you poke the stick that stick will take it down with it and um, okay that looks like that's attached a little better and now I'm pushing the leaf on it and this is just on another stem that's right next to the flower so it looks pretty cute all together yeah so this is going to go in the same pot just to make it a little bit fuller the first sticks i used were all together that was that was um, just had one base on it but now these i'm using um two i add two different sticks um to the pot and it just looks real cute i still might add a couple butterflies i bought a couple butterflies that i thought would be real cute on it and I will probably still add those. I uh, just haven't done it yet. And here you see I got, I put some um, uh, hot glue on the end of the stick here. Because this is just those little petals. And oh no, that, that leaf there is just too big for that petal. So, so I decided to uh, uh, take the... Um, uh, the pipe cleaners off and then I'm digging in my waste can here and just getting out a couple of those little pieces that were scraps and what I want is just enough to go around the stem of the flower of the little bud 
and uh, that I can just glue underneath it. And then I'm going to cut out a tiny little leaf because if the buds are just coming out, I'm assuming that the leaves are just coming out too. So they would be a little bit smaller. They're not gonna be great, great big and gigantic like our other leaves are. So here I am just with my green marker again, just outlining it, giving it some definition. And um, before I put it there with the, the little bud, but it'll be really cute really really cute and it'll it'll fit it much better than that great big one did that just didn't look good at all um so see there how much nicer that looks to have a little tiny one and this one i literally just put the glue on the stem and uh set it in like that i didn't have anything to really attach it to so it looks pretty cute I just, I just love it. I really do. I just love these. I think they're adorable. I think you could, you could even put these in a little girl's room if you wanted to make them. You'd have to find the bolsters in the, in the colors that you want, unless you want to spray paint them, which mm, I don't know how spray paint would do on this foam. Um, I know it'll melt styrofoam. I'm not sure about this, but um, you might have to paint them by hand if you were going to do it, but I'm sure it's doable. So you just have to check it out and and see. And then, you know, at Christmas time, they even had white ones out. So, um, you know, just keep checking back and seeing what kind of colors that they come in with. And um, you, you might find your color. That's not impossible. Okay, and I am still messing with these little leaves. I think I'm putting another leaf probably behind this uh, flower, little bud, flower, flower bud, and um, making it cute, and then it's going to go in front of the original stem, and it'll just, it'll look just really cute. There's that little green, little green thing I told you I put underneath that flower, just kind of, kind of tied the, um, the flower and the little tiny leaf together, I think, by doing that. Yeah, it just made it look like that they belong there. So, this is really cute. I hope you try to make make some of these. Um, it didn't take me long at all to make them. I'm going to guess maybe, the dry, not counting drying time, because that's going to be different all the time. But like I said, I put mine in front of a fan. And it was a really, it was a warm day today. And um, I probably could have had it done in two hours if it didn't have to dry. So, you know, you can get them done in the morning or in an afternoon. And you've got a great big, full, big gift for somebody. Um, pretty good. Pretty easy. That's yeah, cute. those are cute. So, I'll show you these here how they look in the pot. Oh, there they are with the other flower that I made. Okay, yeah. Very cute, very cute. There's the pot of flowers. Yeah, it just had three flowers on it before. And now it has four flowers and two buds is what I have on there. And I have probably a whole a whole one of the um, boards for the leaves I have um, I'm sure because I made some out of an, a, another board and then I used part of this one and um, then I have a whole bolster for the flowers and I only found blue and green two shades of blue, this turquoise that I used, and then a darker blue, and then they had the same color uh, green as they did as I used for the leaves. So in my Dollar Tree, that was the choices. But we know they're not all created equal, so we will just um, use what we can get. And thank you for watching.